What's up everybody? We're back here on Bear Rock Logging today and uh, hope you had a good Easter holiday. I did not get a video up yet, or let's see, well, yesterday for me, uh, Monday, uh, because of the Easter holiday. We were spending it with some family out of town, so didn't get a chance to record anything. And if you were off on Good Friday, hope you had a good one. I was not off, <laughs> so I didn't get much of a break, but anyway, had a good Easter though. Okay, so we're, we're at the new job site back here in the very kind of back part of the, well, top part of the map, I guess. And uh, I've sold a few things, and that's why I'm dropping off that trailer and grabbing this truck. And we're going to go up back up to the sawmill real quick and pick up our new piece of equipment that we, I think, definitely are going to need for this job site. And I really didn't have to sell anything but I wasn't using some of that equipment anyway, so I was just like, well, whatever. And I usually like to try to buy my equipment, not lease it, but in this case, we, um, you know, if we'd had a, maybe a couple more loads of logs or something, we could have easily bought it, but I sold this FDR truck because I'm not too thrilled with it. It's okay, but uh, I'm probably gonna end up buying another one of these Kenworths maybe and use it as a haul truck I'm not sure yet uh, this truck seems to have pretty decent power but we'll see how it does pulling that uh, uh, well especially the the track machines those things are heavy but uh, I went ahead and leased um, the Tiger Cat 604 e cable skitter so I'm gonna go pick it up and we'll it shouldn't have any problem pulling this thing uh, the only thing that's you know, not going to be available to us is uh, with all the FDR equipment here with, uh, I believe it was version 4, they updated all the machines where you could lock them down this trailer right here. And uh, of course this Tiger Cat is not going to have that, but if we're careful we should be able to get it up the mountain and around and not have any problems. Also, just a little bit of news. Um, I think I stated, stated this over on my Facebook page, but of course a lot of you aren't over there, so I'll say it here. Um, I'm, I'm working on another map, and at this point I can't really give a whole lot of detail about it. Uh, I'm going to get uh, a fair amount along in it, <clears throat> you know, so make some progress in it before I announce anything official, as far as like names and stuff like that, what the map's going to look like and all that sort of thing. but. I've made some uh, pretty good little progress on it, but it's going to take a while. Uh, you know, all of my maps are usually pretty well detailed, like this map, all these rocks in here on the sides of the roads, all that was hand placed and bushes and stuff. And it, I, I test it pretty thoroughly as far as like being able to get machinery and equipment and stuff up and down the, the roads and make turns and things like that. So there's a good bit of, that goes into it. So it takes me a while to get a map out. and I. I wish I had all the time in the world to just work on maps, but you know, there's this thing called work where I have to pay the bills. <laughs> but anyway, so another map is in the works. Um, just stay tuned, and uh, I'll make an announcement. Uh, it's probably going to be a while. It's probably going to be another couple, three weeks or so. I've got to head up to uh, uh, Arkansas for a conference or our old company function deal, I guess, really. Uh, here first part of May so be out of town won't have a chance to work on it any then now the other thing I'm gonna be doing here pretty soon though like within the next probably few days is uh, I don't know if you saw my map review of Turingen Forest map It's the map of some I think it's some kind of uh, national forest type thing or something over in uh, I believe it's Austria <coughs> anyway somebody put that up on uh, the mod sites and I downloaded the map because it, it, it uh, you know it sounded like a forestry map and I got to looking into it and there's just one field in there with I think it's got weed on it or something but the rest of it's pretty much forestry there's a little swampy area with some roads through it and there's some kind of mountainous areas there's even a, a mine shaft that you can go explore and just don't get lost like I did and fall out the back end <laughs> but uh what I'm doing is there's a few little issues with the map. You know, I don't know if uh, maybe that was their first time making a map or something. I mean, even when I looked at it in Giants Editor, there was 
a good many issues with it. Um, there was some floating trees, there was some roads that needed grading because they kind of almost some of them were almost at a 45 degree angle and if you took a loaded log truck across those uh, you tump right over so I flattened those out a bit and added some uh, uh, well, you know it's where, where, it's where it makes it so it's not so angular when you're going across it I guess it's the best way like straight up and down 45 would, eh, it might be tough but whenever you uh, are trying to go across the terrain like that with a loaded log truck, I'm afraid that it would just tump right over. So I'm kind of flattening out some of those roads. And um, uh, the entrance to the shop area, I mean, you just, you just about had to jackknife your truck. And even then, I don't think some of the trucks with a loaded or with a log trailer that's as long as like those FDR ones, I don't think that you could even get through there. So. I widened the entrance there and just a few little minor changes nothing nothing major like you know huge drastic you know gameplay changes or anything so if you watch the video you can probably you probably saw some of the issues I pointed out as I was reviewing the map but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix those little issues and I'll put it up on my website and of course give proper credits to the original author but I'm gonna put my name on there too uh, so I don't think they have a problem with that. Plus, it's just going to be on my website. I'm not going to put it up on anybody else's web mod website or anything. If anybody else does, then I didn't do it. Uh, so know that. But if you'd like to play that map, which is actually it's a pretty awesome little map. It's uh, very nicely done. Just like I said, there's a few little issues that need to be worked out. I'm going to put that up on my website, nlagaming.com. Uh, pretty soon here in the next few days. I believe it or not there was not a uh, log cell point like there was a wood chip cell point but not for the logs so I had to add that in there and uh, it's still not working correctly I just I think I just need to move the uh, little trigger thing over a little closer I think it was still where I thought it was although there wasn't anything in the um, uh, the default items which said that there was a log cell point there, so I had to add one in. But yeah, it's a pretty nice little map. I actually really like it. There's some pretty cool little paved roads that go through the forest that kind of curve and are hilly and stuff. They did a real nice job on that. But uh, just a few little, few little things. And what's kind of interesting is they must have adjusted the price scale on the land because. Uh, some of those tracks of timber were pretty good size, and they weren't very expensive either. Yeah, I guess this thing's going to make it. I think that was the worst of it right there. It's all downhill once we get around this curve right up here. But, uh, yeah, I'll be looking for Turingen Forest map edit by NLA Gaming here pretty soon. <laughs> Let's see, I tell you what, I should have been doing this all along, but I'm going to go ahead and speed up time. So hopefully by the time we get over there and get set up, it'll be daylight. And I'm looking for my gate. It's right there, there's my road. Hard to see in the cab at night. Not much better out here. Oh, there we go. Turn on the brights might help a little. It doesn't hurt that it's dark. I'm trying to drive slow anyway to uh, not throw the skitter off the back.
Yeah, I hate to tease you all too much, but this next map's going to be pretty cool, i got to say. Uh, it's going to be pretty interesting, too. Not only from a making the map standpoint, but from a gameplay standpoint. So I don't think there's been many forestry maps like this, so yeah, I'll just have to wait and see. But it'd be worth it. Oh, I forgot about all this. Well, I hope we make it. <laughs> Looks like the skitter has slid forward, but it's staying on there pretty good, I think. Side to side. As long as it stays on, I don't care where it goes. May have slid some. this truck did okay. Of course this isn't one of those track machines but we'll see if uh, I'll have to try that sometime do a little testing and see. Oh, oh I did uh, I don't know if I have done a video since this or not but I did download the very latest course play that I could find for FS19 and uh, I did a quick little test of just you know driving from point A to point B and it seemed to do okay so we'll try it here on this map because we're a long way from the sawmill and uh, you know I just don't know how it's gonna work out with all of these the terrain and the, the curves and all that but we'll see what happens put it that way well we just about got back to daylight before we get offloaded here but didn't quite make it oops well I guess it would help to put the ramp down I keep forget I keep forgetting to put it up and I keep forgetting to put it down waiting for the bump and didn't see it. I shouldn't go far enough. Alright, so now we have leased our cable skitter. We can go relieve our... Well, there's our uh, grapple skitter right there. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead... Right, I'll keep forgetting the exit from the back on this thing. I'm going to keep... I'm going to just uh, drive this over near the sawmill... or uh, the landing so if we need to um, you know push up some piles or something or skid something that's just right here close we'll use this and let's see I'm thinking we'll put it over here on the other side just to get it out of the way for right now and it looks like we have plenty of daylight now so let's cut that off There's that. And I think I'm just going to park this low boy trailer or whatever right over here. And let's hook back up to our wood chip trailer. Shouldn't be too far from having a load. Jeez, where's that? And well, we got about a third, but won't be long. We'll be filling that thing up. Okay, let's go test out this uh, cable skitter down here. Make sure it works pretty good, which I'm sure it will.
it's a pretty good way is down here. So like six trees we got hooked up now. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, there's six. That makes seven. So we still have no problems whatsoever. Seven and a half, eight and a half. <laughs> it's not really a big tree. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I rolled it over. Oh, I hit a stump, that's what it was. Yeah, stumps will get you every time with these cable skitters, but. I thought I had too much weight on there, but I don't think that's the case. Well, maybe it is the case. Alright, let's try dumping one of these trees off of here. Let's see if we can find a good one here. Yeah, I may have had just a little bit too much weight on there. I mean, we're pretty steep. Look at that. I mean, that's probably about close to 45 degrees. I think, that's, I think I got too much weight on here. And got myself in a jam now. Jeez. Okay, so that may have been just a tad too many trees. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to limit it to like maybe six. In fact, uh, here, let's do this. I'm just going to spool out. Let's see if I can winch it back up. I didn't hit that stump back there. I saw a stump somewhere. No. Okay, well, that was probably just a bit too many trees. I'm going to try unhooking one more. Alright, maybe one more. any stumps. Huh. 
Well, gosh. All right, let's try to unhook them a couple more. I think I'm dragging some of the other ones too, but yeah, it's probably I was probably too ambitious for that steep of a terrain there. Okay, well, <clears throat> we've got uh, quite a few trees here at the landing. I didn't realize we had this many, so let's go ahead and do some processing. Let's see if we can clear some of this up. And we should still be set for five meters. Yep. I still haven't downloaded that FDR script for the manual cut. Whenever he updated the machines to version 4, I think it killed the manual cut mod that was out there. But they fixed it, and I just haven't downloaded it yet.
So the new Star Wars trailer is out. Uh, Star Wars Episode Nine: uh, The Rise of Skywalker is what it's called. And uh, here's my theory. Okay, you can just go ahead and mark it down because this is how it's going to play out. Is uh, I'm not sure about Emperor Palpatine just yet. You know, of course, we heard the laugh at the end of the trailer, and then if you saw the thing from uh, Star Wars uh, Celebration or whatever from I think it was in Chicago. Uh, Ian McDermott, or whatever his name is, was there and uh, came on stage and was been in some panels and stuff, and you know, pretty mu pretty much confirmed in some form or fashion he's in there. But I just don't know yet. Uh, there's a lot of theories floating around, but it very well could be that it's just a some sort of a fo force ghost or something, or a flashback, or you know, who knows? But I have no theory on that. But here's my theory: is that uh, the rise of Skywalker is not what you think. Uh, and that is, you know, Luke's not coming back, and, and Leia's not coming back, and all that. Here's my theory. Uh, so, the previous movie was called The Last Jedi, which in my opinion was Luke Skywalker. And when Rey comes along, she's, you know, has nobody to train her. The Jedi are all gone. Uh, however, she does appear to want to learn the ways of the Force and all that. So, my theory is that she is going to, with those books that she took, uh, she's going to form a new uh, line, so to speak, of Jedi, and they're going to be called Skywalkers. Because I was reading in, uh, I think, some of the Star Wars canon, they actually refer to um, something as Skywalkers. Maybe Force-sensitive individuals, I think. Are called Skywalkers, which is, I think, one reason why it may have been Palpatine or one of the other Siths or something was surprised to learn that, you know, Luke's last name was Skywalker or Anakin. I think it was Anakin actually. Somebody was surprised that his last name was Skywalker. But anyway, that's my theory. You can just go ahead and mark it down as being fact. Is <laughs> is that uh? The Jedi are no more, and they're going to be called Skywalkers from here on out. That's my theory. Alright, who put these trees so far out there? on those stage six ones there. Big trees. But I'm definitely looking forward to that movie. I'm kind of geeky when it comes to Star Wars stuff. Uh, of course, I'm a big fan, but whenever um, oh, what was the, what was the first one? Uh, the Force Awakens. Yeah, whenever the Force Awakens, Episode Seven, I guess. Whenever that one came out, uh, I was pretty geeky about it. I I didn't watch. If you believe this or not, but it's the truth, I did not watch any trailers, any teasers. I saw some pictures, but if we went to a movie and the trailer played, I closed my eyes, I listened, but I didn't watch. And I went into Force Awakens just completely like I had never known anything about Star Wars at all. Well, of course I did from previous ones, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, I didn't didn't watch any of the, the previews or anything. I just went in there, unaware of what was going to happen. You know, because I, I feel like 
with some of the trailers out there, they really give away a bit too much information, so I didn't want to be spoiled on anything, so I just decided that before The Force Awakens came out, I was not going to watch any trailers, teasers, anything. I wasn't going to read theories about what was going to happen or anything like that. I just wanted to walk in the movie unaware and just watch it. And I did, and it was great. But with the previous, or with the next uh, next couple movies, The Last Jedi, and of course this one with uh, Rise of Skywalker, I've, I've checked out some trailers and things. And, uh, it's not that I don't care anymore, it's just that, well, I, I don't know, I just wanted to see this time. Yeah, it was funny, uh, before The Force Awakens came out, I was, you know, like I said, we, we'd go see a movie every once in a while, and they'd show the preview for it, or the trailer for, for it, and I'd close my eyes, but if we were, uh, you know, out somewhere, like at a friend's house, or my parents' house, or something, and the TV was on, and the trailer would come on for Force Awakens, I'd say, I can't watch that! So I'd close my eyes. <laughs> Alright, this is a pretty small tree, so I'm just going to go ahead and grind it up. No sense in... I'd only get one little log out of it, so no sense in even processing it. Alright, this should get us about halfway full on our chip trailer here. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see, where'd my cable skitter? Oh yeah, I parked it over here. See, I don't think we quite got enough for a load yet. I see, I think, so there's three bunks. There's about one bunk there, two bunk. We got about two, maybe two and a half, two and a quarter. So let's get just a few more trees drug up here. I need to come in here and get rid of these stumps, because like that will cause me some problems if I'm not careful. Yep, just like that. I was hoping it would uh, pull over, but it didn't. There we go. Got us a tag along. Yeah, I know this isn't much supposed to do with the cable skitter, but anyway. <laughs> Get a few of these trees cleared out of here so I can oops, see what I'm doing. I 
tell you, these small trees, I can't stand these things. Uh, I'm just going to start chipping them up. Get rid of some of these stumps while we're over here. Hard to see where the stumps are on all these bushes and this grass. All right, well, I guess they're up. Oh, there's something up there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to you guys seeing the plantation gameplay. Uh, that'll be coming soon. I still got, I got like maybe three more hours of gameplay to record, and uh, then we'll be ready for the first uh, high-speed login video series. There, it's gonna be called High Gear Clear. It'll be on the plantation, and we'll try to cut down the entire map by the time Farming Simulator 2021 comes out. <laughs> And uh, not only cut down, but I may actually plant some. I've got a tree planter already set up with a, a trailer full of saplings, but I've uh, got too many trees on the map. It's not letting me uh, plant any right now. So i got to cut down a whole bunch of uh, trees before I can plant any, any new ones.
and whenever we get uh, enough for a load here, I don't know if it'll be today, probably not today, but uh, the next video may be on this uh, Bear Rock series. I'm going to get a course play route set up to deliver our logs to the sawmill. We'll see how that goes. I may do it off camera just in case it bombs and then the, you know, we're not being bored with something that doesn't work next time. But I'll let you know. Uh-oh. Not sure what happened there. You cut a few more trees back behind there, I think. Oh, it's doing it again. What in the world is back there? Must be a tree. Yeah, it's this little tree right here. Yeah, we'll fix that. Well, I just did a big no no, and so I walked right under that tree. It was under the processor. <laughs> That's right, I had my hard hat on, so we're good. A little bit messy, but make it work. Okay, well, we might actually have time to do that course play recording right now if I get busy and uh, get this thing loaded up. So let's see what we got in here. We may not have enough for a full load, but we'll try and see. And it's like I need to back my truck up just a little bit. We'll go ahead and get the back bunk loaded up in some of this wood right here out of the way. That's yeah, messy already. Yeah, let's see. So I got two hours on this machine. You can already see the the claws starting to get a little dirty. That's pretty cool. I like that FDR added that in there. That's a neat, nice touch. Uh, something I wish he'd done a long time ago, but done it now. Looks cool. Yeah, 
let's see if we can't oops can't clean this up just a little bit I can bump I think that one right there get those to settle down well not how I wanted to do it but it worked That should be good enough for the back. Now let me see if I can get this pile scooted over just a little bit. Back our truck up so we can get the other two loaded up. And maybe we'll have time to make that run of the sawmill. I'll just leave it like that. Put a, got a bit too ambitious on that grab there, but we made it. <laughs> Trying to load this up pretty quickly so we can get our course player route set in. I really think that's going to help. Uh, I'll just make it to where it's like basically to the sawmill, not necessarily selling anything. Of course, uh, they've got it now to where you have to hop out and use that trigger to sell the wood anyway. But uh, we'll make it to where we can deliver our logs and wood chips, and we'll just have the truck stop and wait on us somewhere, and we'll take over from there. But that's all. I can be skidding some logs or processing some trees or something, you know, while the truck's on the way to the sawmill. And 
if we don't quite get a full load, that's okay. So I'm probably just going to put just that right there on this second bunk. In fact, I may, let's see. Yeah, they're settling in there just a little bit, so it's probably fine to go ahead and put all these on there. Yeah, okay, that's it for the second bunk. Now let's get this other one. And if you're watching and thinking that I'm loading this truck pretty good, well, first of all, I appreciate it. <laughs> but second of all, I do. I am using uh, dual joysticks. I've got a Logitech Attack 3 Pro or whatever it's called, 3D, 3D Extreme 3D Pro, and I also have a, a Thrustmaster T16000M, which uh, the the T16000 will actually let you convert it between left-handed and right-handed. So that's why I've got two different ones you can get by I think with using the you know a couple of the Logitechs because they are cheaper but it sure is better to actually have a left-handed joystick And this is lots and lots of practice as well. I don't think you can just buy a couple of dual joysticks and all of a sudden be pretty good at loading trucks. Although I don't really consider myself pretty good. I'm, I'm still a little slow. Yeah, I had to, I had to, I will say that I'm better at the, the shorts than I am the longs. Because those long ones, you gotta kinda know what you're doing. Okay, let's, I'm going to throw on just like a couple more logs. Maybe, well, maybe just this one on this uh, second bunk. Looked like it was a little short. Probably put one or two more on there. And we're doing okay on time. I've got just a little bit left. Alright, that'll do it. I'll, I'll just call it good right there. Okay. So, course play. Let's see. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my truck pulled up here a little ways and make sure I haven't already recorded a course play. I, I think I was doing that on a different map. But it very well could have been this one. Let's see. Actually, no, it wasn't this one because I didn't even have it activated. I think I was using it on my uh, my test game save. Okay, so during the course play, so right click pulls up this menu. All you got to do is click start course recording, then you just drive. And I'm going to attempt to do this on the first shot. I'm going to swing out because there's a bit of a terrain deal there that's kind of weird. And I'm going to take the curves pretty slow. I'm going to drive pretty slow too, just so that when the course play is actually going, maybe it won't cause any issues. Course play is supposed to use your recorded vehicle speed, not just its random thing, but you, know, you never know. And you can set what speed it takes the curves at and normally I set it to I think the default is like six miles an hour I'll go ahead and set mine to four so if you're making a sharp turn or something it'll slow way down so like I'm gonna be careful right there cause that's kind of a dip and now right here I'm gonna be real careful 
In fact, I'm going to come over this way because I think the terrain is a bit more smooth on the right-hand side. And I'm just off the gas completely there. Now I'm back on it. Let's see if we can get up this hill. I hope it makes it. Yikes. Come on, baby. Man, just barely made that. Now the real test is not really going to be can we make the truck get there, it's going to be will Cars Play run this route okay on its own, that's going to be the real test. That'll be next time. But anyway, you get the picture and whenever you get to the your stopping point you just hit the big stop button right there where my, where my mouse is and uh, then you'll save it and that'll be your course that's it all there is to it when just delivering and stuff like that I don't really use course play a whole lot other than just mostly driving vehicles from point A to point B and then back to point A that's normally how I use course play just so I can be doing something else while the trucks driving because this is a pretty long distance but anyway I'm gonna get this course recorded in and the next time we'll test it out and see if it actually works but I hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button we're trying to get to a thousand to get my videos monetized again and once we do that we'll do some random prize giveaways every once in a while and if uh, you feel like you'd like to support the channel in a monetary fashion you can go over to patreon.com and sign up over there for five bucks a month you can help support the channel and with that you'll get <clears throat> insider access to all the maps I'm working on what it's gonna be called before anybody else knows uh, screenshots before anybody else sees it and you know when it's gonna be released I'll let patrons know ahead of time to be expecting it and things like that so go check that out and I uh, hope like I said hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching we'll see you next time have a good one